So over here we have got a question in which we have to find the value of a square plus b square plus c square plus d square plus e square. Can I assume all of them to be equal to k? So from here I can say that a plus 1 is k. If you solve this equation, you will get 4k is equal to 12 or you will get k is equal to 3. Now you have to find the value of a square plus b square plus c square plus d square plus e square. So let us do it over here guys. So a square plus b square plus c square plus d square plus e square is coming out to be equal to 10. So over here we have got a question in which we have to find the value of a square plus b square plus c square plus d square plus e square. So you see five variables are there. But there is a relation given a plus 1 is equal to b plus 2 is equal to c plus 3 is equal to d plus 4 e plus 5 and this is the relation. So over here if you will try to solve if you will try to make many equations it will waste your time. Instead of that we can do a simple assumption. What is that assumption? See all of them are equal a plus 1 b plus 2 c plus 3 d plus 4 e plus 5 and this thing all of them are equal. Can I assume all of them to be equal to k? Can I assume all of them to be equal to k? So from here I can say that a plus 1 is k. I can say that b plus 2 is k. I can say that c plus 3 is k over here. I can say that d plus 4 is k. I can say that e plus 5 is k. In the same manner, a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus 3 is also equal to k. So can I just write a in terms of k guys? So a is equal to k minus 1. I can say that b is equal to k minus 2. I can say that c is equal to k minus 3. I can say that d is equal to k minus 4. I can say that e is equal to k minus 5. So I hope this thing is clear. Now you see over here, this is also equal to k, a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus 3 is equal to k. So in place of a, can I put k minus 1? In place of b, can I put k minus 2? In place of c, I can put k minus 3. In place of d, I can put k minus 4. In place of e, I can put k minus 5. And you see plus 3 is there, so plus 3 and this is also equal to k only. I hope that is clear. So let's solve this equation for k guys. How many times k is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5k is coming and then you can simplify. You see this is minus 3, minus 6, minus 10, minus 15, plus 12. So that will be minus 12 and this is equal to k over here. If you solve this equation, you will get 4k is equal to 12 or you will get k is equal to 3. So you see, if you have got k is equal to 3 over here, you can put the value of k over here. You'll get the values of a, b, c, d and e. Just put k is equal to 3 over here. So if you put 3, so a will be equal to 3 minus 1, 2, 3 minus 2, 1, 3 minus 3, 0, 3 minus 4, minus 1, 3 minus 5, minus 3. So these are the values of a, b, c, d and e. Now you have to find the value of a square plus b square plus c square plus d square plus e square. So let us do it over here guys. So a square over here will be 2 square. b square is what? 1 square. c square is 0 square. d square is minus 1 square. And e square is minus 3 square over here. Okay, so this was minus 2 over here guys. This is minus 2, okay? Because 3 minus 5 is minus 2. So this is minus 2 over the whole square over here. Now if you simplify, what will you get? You will get 4 plus 1, 5 plus uh, 1, 6 plus 4, 10. So therefore the answer is equal to 10. So a square plus b square plus c square plus d square plus e square is coming out to be equal to 10. So if you will actually form many equations, it will waste your time. I hope the question is clear to you.